The Earl Chandfield has welcomed visitors to Chandwell since it opened in 1863, and we are here to welcome you exactly 130 years later. Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael, and I've built a curved hotel for the front of my layout. Sitting at the corner of Station Road and High Street, this model will be a centrepiece of my town scene. I've added lots of little bits of detailing to bring the hotel to life. So let's get on then and take a look at my scratch-built curved hotel. After a long day of shopping in the nearby indoor market, rest your weary bones in one of our 10 budget-friendly rooms. Or treat yourself to ensuite luxury. We have two deluxe rooms. I was inspired by the Crescent Hotel in Ilkley, and I think I've captured some of its elegant charm. With a rundown Chandwell twist, of course. The hotel has a very large cornice and gutter around the front. I drew four layers in Inkscape, each slightly different. I cut it first from a piece of copier paper to check the fit. It looks okay. Maybe these bits overhang a bit too far. Three layers were cut from half millimetre card and glued together in this stepped arrangement. The final piece is one millimetre card and has all of these notches cut out of it. This will go on like this. I cut a one millimetre strip of half millimetre card and glued it along the edge to make a lip. And then I painted it all stone colour. Eventually, I glued it on with a bead of PVA. Designed by beloved Chandwell architect Richard Towris in the classical style, pass Tuscan columns as you enter our opulent entrance hall for the warmest of welcomes. I wanted a traditional looking pub sign for the outside. I printed this to photo paper. It is tiny. It's just 6.7 millimetres wide by 9.1 millimetres tall. The width of the border is only half a millimetre. So I roughly cut the border out and I stuck it onto the same sheet of paper to make it two layers thick. When working with such narrow borders, it's best to cut the hole in the middle first. Colour the inside edges to remove the white of the paper and then glue the whole thing on top of the picture that goes inside the frame. Once the glue is dry, you cut the whole thing out, so you're never actually working with thin bits of paper only half a millimetre wide. Then I just glue it back to back. It is tiny. Whoops. A blob of PVA holds it in place as the glue dries. Why not have a pint of Foxton's Best in our lounge? Relax by the very fire so enjoyed by cricket legend Walter Cox on his many visits to Chandwell. The hotel in Ilkley is covered in chimneys along the front part of the roof, and I had to make a lot to really capture the feeling. I needed 101 separate card pieces for the eight chimneys. I cut the bits out, and then I stacked them in a scale model scenery right angle jig. I took care to keep them all as square as possible. You can never get it perfect, but a nail file helps later on. The taller chimneys are made from four separate blocks, like this. The ridge chimneys are made from 10 layers of card and go on like this. Just seven more to do. I wrap each part in texture and use a cheap nail file to smooth away any wonky bits. The bits then just stack with PVA. I needed to pull some faces to get them aligned properly. An engineer's square is a nice weight to hold them in place. These parts needed a bit of paint on the exposed top edge. And then, a test to be sure they are lined with each other. The terrible chimney pots are a bit of a joke in Chandwell. I make them quickly and cheaply by chopping a bamboo cotton bud into bits, then just stick them onto the chimney and paint them. Not too bad. The billiard table so loved by local poet Charles Dalbury has long gone, but join us for a Sunday roast or our famous all day breakfast in the room it once stood. I pulled a lot more faces to get the road alignment just right under the skew bridge, and I measured the existing width of the visible part of Station Road. This allowed me to position the hotel exactly where it needs to be. I used the original circle drawings in Inkscape to work out where the pavement would be, and I stuck this to card, and trimmed it. I cut the pavement from Scale Scene's pavement texture and arranged it along the shape and I put a patch of cobbles at the back. And then, 
with a bit of PVA, I plonked the hotel into place. Pop in over the festive season and try our very own twist on a Chandwell classic, Cinnamon Christmas Turpin. It's to die for. Downspouts are made by colouring the edge of a bit of card with a marker, and then cutting a tiny slice off. I stick it to the wall with PVA. I added a to let sign by the door of the flat that already has signs in the window. The Foxton's Ale sign matches the one on the weir. A brush of white paint makes the graffiti go over the downspout. A little porch is made of 1mm matchsticks of card. Doorsteps are just hand cut slices of card. Coming one night only, General and the Lamberts, supported by the Chandwelliers. Thursday the 11th of November 1993, £5.50 with a free pint, £2 discount for residents. I ordered a packet of laser cut 6mm lettering from Scale Model Scenery. This more than tripled the cost of Station Road to date, but the quality of these things is wonderful. I painted the first coat with the letters still on the sprue. I needed to get each letter positioned exactly right. So I printed the sign onto paper, which I blue tacked just below where the sign will go. Then it was a painstaking task of using tiny dabs of PVA to get each letter into exactly the right place. PVA takes a while to dry, so you get some seconds to nudge the letters into the right spot. As ever, my crochet hook is a godsend for this task. I'd initially included white spots on the frontage to help me position the letters but I hadn't factored in the outer buttresses, so they were all in the wrong place. I painted them over with the tiniest spot of stone paint. So don't delay, get yourself on a train and ask for a single ticket to Chandwell. I use AK Interactive matte varnish and a big brush to cover the whole model with a coat of varnish. This leaves the whole building feeling somehow more solid and looking less like folded bits of paper and card. A final brush with some weathering powders, and the hotel is done. Walk down Station Road and come in for a stay at the Earl Chandfield. Your home from home in Chandwell. I've just received a comment from channel member Nick, who has seen photos of the finished hotel. He says, It must be quite the feeling looking up from your desk and seeing all this in front of you. Nick, it really is. Just look. This stage of the model took two sheets of plain A4 paper, two A4 sticky labels, two sheets of 1mm card, two sheets of half mm card, one snap off of a blade, one scalpel blade, one sheet of photo paper, a bit of paint, and some scale model scenery letters. This has taken the total so far for the street to £13.97, and I've spent 56 hours on it so far. But for now, the final word is Britney's. I hope you've enjoyed this build. If you have, please press the thumbs up button as this helps others find the video too. Chandwell, it's not as grim as you think it is. And cut. Thank you, Miss Scroggins, that's a wrap. Ugh, thank God I'm getting paid for that. I wouldn't stay there. Have you seen the wallpaper? And that smell, ugh. <laughs>